This seemingly ordinary 1982 Uzwa Time recently sold for an impressive $355 on eBay. What makes this 10 cent piece so special? Unlike many valuable error coins, it doesn't feature die doubling or any misalignment issues. The key to its value is a missing mint marked P near the date. P standing for Philadelphia Mint. Typically, a business strike 1982 Roosevelt Dime should display a P for Philadelphia or D for Denver next to the date on the front side. This particular dime, graded MS66 by PCGS, is a noteworthy for its pristine surfaces with hardly any contact marks. If you happen to find a 1982 Roosevelt Dime without a mint mark, you've got yourself a valuable and relatively rare coin. So be sure not to spend it by accident. Do you notice the irregularity on the rim above the Jefferson's profile? This uncirculated nickel with such a defect fetched over $400 at Great Collections Auction. This 1943 D. Jefferson nickel features a minor rim clip at 1 o'clock position, making it an intriguing error coin. A rim clip occurs when the blank planchette, the metal disc, used to create the coin, is not properly cut out from the metal strip, resulting in a coin with small section of edge missing. While this type of error doesn't typically affect the coin's design significantly, it is noticeable and can enhance the coin's collectability and the value. Apart from the error, this coin is a superb gem. It means state 6 to 7 plus, featuring 6 full steps on the reverse. An attractive toning, both of which greatly contributed to the overall value of this nickel. Here is the famous 1955 Lincoln Sand with double die obverse, graded in mint state 64 brown by PCGS. The 1955 double die obverse Lincoln Sand is a well known variety featured in both the guidebook and cherry picker's guide. This coin is well preserved choice example of this extremely popular variety, with a doubling clearly visible on the date and letters in the legend. The glossy steel brown surfaces retain much of the original mint luster, and the design elements are well detailed. PCGS has certified only 14 numerically finer examples with a brown designation. This rare specimen was sold for $9,000 on May 8, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. What a bizarre Lincoln scent, isn't it? This 2000 Lincoln scent with its irregular shape is a multi struck penny featuring a significant cupped broad struck. It recently fetched over $169 on eBay and was graded MS64 red by Annex. Broad striking is an error that occurs when a coin is struck outside the collar. The part of the minting press that shapes the coin's edge and keeps the planchette in place during the strike. Without the color, the metal spreads out more than usual, creating a larger than normal coin with a blurred or distorted design. This unique error makes this Lincoln scent a fascinating and valuable addition to any collection. This is a 1909 SVW Lincoln scent graded MS66 by PCGS. As a key date in the series, the SVW enjoys unparalleled popularity. High grade examples like these are highly sought after for registry sets. PCGS has graded only one numerically finer red and brown example. The smooth, luminous satin luster showcases blended hues of gold and bronze and also olive brown on this premium gem coin. Its fully struck design elements and the absence of noticeable carbon spotting add to its appeal. These rare specimens sold for $6,060 on May 8, 2024. If you pay close attention to the reverse design of this nickel, you'll notice that the buffalo has only three legs. This highly sought after guidebook variety is known as 1937D three legged nickel. This particular specimen, graded MS63, recently sold for $4,680 at Heritage Auctions. Coin collecting is one of the few hobbies where the poorest examples of the quality control are celebrated. This issue has been a hot ticket item since it, it was first reported in 1939. While not a true variety, as a missing leg feature was present in the die when, when new, 
it is more accurately described as a late die state striking. The technical term adopted by variety specialists is a braided die reverse or ADR. Conventional wisdom suggests that the removal of the bison's foreleg resulted from overpolishing the die to eradicate clash marks, though other evidence in both dies suggests otherwise. The famed three legged nickel is not rare in worn condition, but pieces grading extremely fine and higher are scarce compared to the high demand. Mint state coins are very elusive, with gem quality examples being genuinely rare. Known for fetching huge premiums, the 1968 No S was what time? A premier modern proof rarity. The years 1965 through 1967 were tough for modern US coin collectors as mint marks were removed from coinage and no proof or mint sets were issued. Special mint sets with marginal proof like characteristics were a poor substitute for collectors who preferred the regular proofs. However, proof coinage and mint marks returned in 1968 struck at the San Francisco Mint. All proofs bore the S mint mark except for coins mistakenly struck without a mint mark. While several missing mint mark proof coin issues exist, they are all highly collectible and rare. The 1968 NOS time is rarest of them all. Ranking number 3 in Scott Schechter's and Jeff Garrett's 2011 book, 100 Greatest US Modern Coins, only about 2,000 1968 NOS times are so to exist. This particular coin is an immaculate PR68 example, deeply reflective throughout the mirrored fields. With fully struck devices and exceptional eye appeal, only a handful of finer examples are known. This coin was sold for $22,200.